Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to the Quest for the Open vlog this week and we start a very drizzly Manchester. Boy, the summer of 2018 has very much been forgotten and I'm here this morning, I need to do some short game practice. It's something which I have neglected for well, a fair few weeks now, I've not really done any, so I need to crack on with that. It's basically less than a month till open qualifying, which is the 20. 4th of June. I've got my entry in so hopefully I'll be at West Langs again and I'll let you know kind of the timings and all the rest of it nearer the time. But first of all it is going to be this chipping, got a nice area here down at Marriott Worsley and I've got a well just a simple simple game that you can play to help improve and put a little bit of pressure on your practice. Super simple. So we've got three piles of balls each 10 each and I'm starting off my lob wedge. I'm going to do some my lob wedge, my 54 and my 50 degree. This is target number one, this is target number two, this is target number three. I'm playing these shots for a nice tight fairway line and the whole point of this drill is to try and get these chips within a club length. I'm going to hit 10 to each target. Each of those shots that doesn't finish within the club length they come back to the start and I start again. I've got to keep going until I have no balls left in any of the piles. And then I'll switch on to my 54, carry on, carry on, carry on. It's going to be a bit of a grind this morning, but I need to. Just hopefully this weather holds off a little bit. It seems to be bright enough to very meh shots, some very good shots, some okay shots, some all right shots. So the way that this would work, so this is my first target. So this one, yeah, that's fine. That one's fine. That one's fine. That one's fine. That one's out. So these four, so those four balls there, they are okay. And then these are the balls that need to go back to the start and it's the same for each station. You could also mix it up a little bit more as well and alternate the stations on each shot. A little bit of a mixture of things. However, I'm going to be here quite a while. Well, what a difference a few hours makes. It's now the afternoon, I'm at the Mir. This is the Mir. These are the beautiful houses that surround the Mir. And apparently the course here is in really, really good nick. And I'm going to have a, a proper practice. Also going to have a, a little bit of a mess around. I've got an old tailor-made driver. It's exactly 20 years old. The Fire Soul. Well, not a promising start for the Fire Soul. Um, I've lost my ball. the rain might be coming back in oh, look, a little practice session there then. all with the visio stuff oh hello but i'll do a completely separate video on the 20 year old driver i think that's a video in itself what i need to try and figure out this week is the top end of my bag because i am i'm confused about it at the moment and i need to spend a little bit of time a little bit of thought about what i'm going to do it's not that serious, but it could make some interesting viewing for you guys if you are trying to figure out the makeup of your bag. Okay, so these are my bags as I currently find them. Tour bag, empty. I'm going to be using uh, my trolley a lot more in June. I don't know if it's just, I don't know, a change in diet, a sleep pan thing or whatever, but at the moment, whenever I carry my bag and just generally, I'm tired a lot. So I need to figure that out, but switching over to an electric trolley with the tour bag, that should ease the load a little bit on the course. And certainly after a round when I use the trolley, I do feel so much more refreshed. So that's what I'm gonna be doing going into June. And I have to say this tour bag, I've underused it this year. Well, I say underused it, I'm not used it at all. And it is a beauty. Ah, oh, that master's little badge as well. I'm not quite a member there yet. So my bag at the moment, I'm very happy with my driver. So I was kind of woman and R between the M5 and the M6, got fitted into the M6. And I have to say, it has been working out very well. Much better than I thought it would, if I'm going to be honest with you. Because last year when I was using the TS driver, 
I really enjoyed that and I was like, oh, is, is there actually going to be anything to compete with that, to compare with that? And when I got fitted for the M6, I was a bit like, I'm not sure this is for me. But then getting it out on the course and then like testing it out further, this has been probably the biggest surprise and one of the biggest benefits of the actual switch, I have to say. So really, really happy with the driver, so don't need to faff around with that. The wedges themselves, so these high toe, Again, really pleased with these. I've got to be honest, the lob wedge, the 60 degree, with its design, with that real high toe, with the grooves going all the way up to the edge. This was probably one of the most difficult clubs to get used to just visually, but over the last few weeks, I've actually had a chance to nail down and practice in lots of different lies. So bare lies, dry lies, fairway lies, rough lies, and it's starting to make a lot more sense. One thing which is good off straight away is the bunkers, I have to say probably the best lob wedge that I've used out of a bunker. It's really good for that. So I've got the 60. I've also got a 54 degree wedge in the high toe in that bronze color, copper color. And then from there, I go on to my pitching wedge. So those are my four wedges and the pitching wedge is in the P760. And it's P760 irons all the way up to the four iron. Now, if you want a full in-depth what's in the bag, I did do one earlier this year. I'll include the link here if you do want to check it out, all the shafts and the lofts and all the rest of it as far as the irons are concerned. But this part of my bag, I'm happy with. Don't need to change it, don't want to change it. It's the <laughs> it's the clubs that are now left in my bag. Oh, actually, no, putter. This has gone in the last few weeks, so I went from shooting, I think, four over, I was at Crossland Heath, and then my last round was three under. So obviously moving in the right direction with that. So very pleased with that cheeky little Balboa. So yeah, it's this section of the bag. Okay, so there's a few decisions to make. Now, the first decision, is between these. So we've got the original one, which I've got set to 13 degrees, and then we've got the M5 fairway wood. Now I was fit into the M5 fairway wood and I wasn't fitted into the original one, but I put the same shaft from my three wood into the original one, so it's exactly the same length. And I did try it on, well, what could best be described as a, a whim, really. And on the course, the original one was performing really, really well. What did it for me with the M5 and why I was a little bit, well, I'm not sure about this, was a comp that I had a northern in, and I had 250, 60 yards. Anyway, it was about 250, 260, and I hit this three wood and it just rocketed through the back of the green. And it was almost like, well, is that actually worthwhile? Is it worthwhile having a three wood that actually goes that far? Now, I don't know if I let that one shot get a little bit too much in my head, because this is what I'm guilty of with these two clubs, is not testing out that relationship enough. And here's the next battle. The five will could do with a clean. Now, this is the one which I'm probably the most conflicted about, because this P792 iron, honestly, last year, this was my favorite club by far. I loved it. It was absolutely amazing. And then earlier on this year, I played in Greece in a pro-am and I had a couple of really bad shots. And when I say bad shots, off the heel. Now, that's the type of stuff that for a golfer sticks with you. And it went from being one of my favorite clubs to something which I was literally holding on for dear life with. And I've never had a five wood before, but since I've been using it this year, I've really enjoyed it. The one issue is, Obviously, the quest for the Open, it's around the Lynx course, and since changing to a new ball, to new irons and everything else, my ball flight is much higher, it's much more corry, corry, coronation, Street. carry distance orientated, which I haven't needed for quite some time, my ball flight generally has been too low. Will the two iron get back in, or has it just got too much scar tissue? So, it's gonna be very simple, head-to-heads as far as control of distance, accuracy if it's a secondary tee ball, with the three wood and the original one, and then between these two, well, we'll see. Bit of a switch for the worse. So can you see just that faint outline of a hill there? Well, you can normally see that and the wind's blowing this way. So it looks like I'm gonna be hitting these indoors. <laughs> so obviously I've had experience about testing these all out on the course. So this is very much now about the data. So original one first, I'm gonna have 10 shots and this is all about fairway finding. Then I'm gonna switch it over to the three wood. Well, that's pretty straight. <laughs> ah, original one, you're a good one. These are a little bit high, a little bit toey but then they're coming off with very little spin because of that. 
probably the best strike so far. Oh, look at that go, man. Try to get a little bit more fade action on that one. All right, on to the three wood again, off that T. Obviously, you're going to be slightly smaller than this one. Let's see how it compares distance-wise as far as a distance club off the T. So, got the M5 three wood now. My slight change here in the custom fitting, so what I got fitted into, was a tiny, tiny draw bias. Now, bear in mind the weight in the back of this M5 is 65 grams, so you can the, the amount that you shift it does alter ball flight quite a lot, probably more than other three woods and other kind of movable weights that I've tested. And I've also got this cranked down to literally just under 15 degrees as well, so that's what I was fitted into, and then this was the shaft I was fitted into also. So, 10 shots with this as well. I'm looking for distance and accuracy, obviously, as a secondary tee shot. Well, that is more of the flight that I like to see. A little bit more healy. And you can see the big drop off in distance there straight away. Better strike. You see how much of a better strike is the carry distance there. That's more like what I'd expect with the three would really. Slightly off the heel. Not too bad though. So let's have a look at the initial results here hitting off the tee. Now I have to say that the the mini driver is very very impressive on the course but also, I've got to be honest, I think it maybe just hit home a little bit more now, probably how useless <laughs> that club could be off the deck. And I've probably already made my mind up, I'm not sure I even really need to test it too much further. Because here's the thing, so those mini drivers, 258 carry, 252 carry, 263 carry, 264 carry, 268, 267, 259, 267, 267, it's pretty consistent around that 260 area. And then because there's not really much spin, on average I was 287. So that's almost 290 with a club which off the tee, amazing. But that gives me really no options when off the fairway. But it is that control factor. It is that control factor. And I've known from off the deck from testing it on the course a little bit, it's certainly not as good as a fairway would as you, as you might expect. You know, hitting any drive off the deck isn't as easy as a fairway would. So let's have a look at the M5. Now there's a couple of key points here which are quite interesting. Ball speed actually on average was slightly, we're talking one mile an hour, but I was expecting the ball speed to be a little bit quicker with the original one, with the mini driver. The backspin is up on the M5 fairway wood and this is probably what is gonna determine really my decision on this club. Overall distances, they are down. So 242 average carry to 260 as far as average distance is concerned. So if you rounded both of those up, we're gonna be looking at 30 yards less. It doesn't really make sense as far as distance gapping is concerned. And that's what one of the key essentials is that when you start to build the bag, you want to be understanding, you know, what is the gap between distance? If I'm faced with a longer shot into a par five, say, or a shortish par four, the mini driver, is that gonna be as useful as a three wood that hits it a long way? So I'll pop it in the bag at the end, but I'm sure you guys can probably guess which one it's gonna be. Control of distance rather than ultimate distance. Okay, so three wood decided, now five wood <laughs> or two iron UDI. It's gonna be an interesting one. Right, off the deck. Oh, that little fade I want. Yeah, I think that's pretty consistent as far as carry distance. I'm just going to jump straight on to the UDI. Come on, I'll give you that first shot. 
Oh, that wasn't a very good swing. And I'll tell you what, wow, that's the, so that's the first big difference there between these two clubs. So that was a toey strike and I felt like the club face twist, you know, the MOI on this is not very high. Straight back to it with that one there. Not quite the strike again. A little bit toe, it's actually, that's done very well. Okay, let's have a look through at the data. The weather has improved remarkably outside since the shutters were down, but we're not here to talk about that. For more weather updates, tune in. And I have to say, as far as carry distance, total distance, spin rates, there's so much that was actually similar between these two clubs. So we've got an average carry distance of 231 uh, with the five wood, and that's compared to 226 with the UDI. However, the big overriding feature here is that forgiveness factor. So I had a few bad strikes. I would actually say I probably had more bad strikes with the five wood than I did with the UDI, but because of the head construction, because it's more forgiving, I was able to get those shots more online and to a good carry distance. Compare that to the UDI where I did hit that real stinker and then another one which wasn't quite as pure, the distance had a huge drop off. And that's a big consideration when you're trying to gap. You know, is your bad strike actually going to be better with one club versus the other? And it has to be said as far as this is concerned, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the five wood is so much better on those bad strikes. Then you counter in that fact about not quite having the confidence with that UDI in here is a lot different than being on the course. Everybody knows that, and certainly in competitive situation, that scar tissue, which is probably built up just a touch about that comp in Greece, is still gonna be there. So this is it, my bag for the Quest for the Open. I'm not gonna be changing anything in here between now and certainly the end of June. Well, hopefully at the end of July, if I get through to final qualifying, that is the main goal this year to try and get through that initial stage. And I'm probably more confident about doing that this year than I have been previously. I think my game, my swing, my mentality is in a much better place than it has been in previous years. So I'm excited to see what can happen. Nothing else has changed, still the TP5X and the TP glove. Got my alignment sticks. Yeah, it's all the same. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, I've got that 20 year old driver comparison coming up probably some point next week and yeah some loads of comps some loads of comps so guys please comment below as well what is your bag makeup what are you rocking at this moment in time and what do you do around this top end of the bag from what's your longest iron to the driver what's your makeup within there would love to know your feedback let me know what you think about this bag as well i really really like it so guys thank you so so much for watching if you are new here and if you are a returning watcher please subscribe if you haven't already it really helps me out like the video and share it around and comment below okay see you next time